Hello everyone! In this video, I have several different celestial themed DIY gift ideas for you to make for all of your friends so that they have a little something that reminds them of the starry night sky. Now this first idea is a set of celestial hairpins and they're made just using polymer clay. So take a piece of your clay and roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thick and then you'll need to print out my free template that I have linked down below and the first page of this template has all the shapes that you can choose from to cut out and make into these pins. So just cut out as many as you want using an X-Acto knife and you can use your fingers to smooth out the edges and reshape them a bit if they need to be fixed up. Then once you have all your shapes cut out, you can bake these according to the instructions on your clay. Once these are baked and hardened, then you'll need to take your hairpins and some E6000 glue. Now this glue is very strong and will make sure that these clay pieces stay on the hairpins permanently. So I definitely recommend you use this specific glue. And just glue all these pieces onto the pins. I had some pins that had a flat top and then I also just used regular bobby pins and both worked great. So once these have all been glued together, let them dry completely, overnight would be best and then you can paint them however you like. I used some gold spray paint and I really love how they turned out, I think they look really pretty. In the free template that you printed out, I also have a few options for packaging. So this first one is a little card that is perfect for sliding bobby pins onto, and I printed mine on craft paper and I really like how this turned out. I also have a tag that you can cut out and tie around a little bag or a box depending on what you decide to package these pins in. I kept these packaging things very plain and simple, so if you want to decorate them, you can match them to whatever packaging you want to do. The next gift idea is this moon phase wall hanging. And once again, we're going to use clay for this project, so take a piece of your clay and roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thick. And then, using that same template that you downloaded before, you can cut out all the pieces for this, and use an X-Acto knife to cut the shapes from the clay. And you can use your fingers to smooth out the edges and make sure all the pieces are perfect, and place them on a baking sheet and bake them according to the instructions on your clay. I used that same gold spray paint to paint these pieces, but you can use whatever paint you prefer and then it's time to assemble. So you'll need your E6000 glue and some string and all you're going to do is cut out a bunch of pieces of string and glue them onto the backs of the pieces using that glue. I put a little piece of washi tape on top just to make sure it all looked nice and neat and you can place these as far apart as you want. Make sure that you let this dry completely before you try handling it or packaging it. The third DIY gift is this little dream journal that is made using recycled materials. So for this, you'll need to cut out a piece of cardboard that is the size you want your journal to be, and then cut some paper that will fit nicely inside. Then you can punch two holes in both the paper and the cardboard, and then use some twine to tie these together. This really doesn't need any fancy binding because it's such a small journal. Just a simple knot and bow will keep this perfectly secure. I also added a little binder clip to keep this journal closed. I like the extra detail that that adds. And you can decorate this however you like. I decided to stamp on mine the words dream journal using my alphabet stamp, but you could also paint or you could add calligraphy. And then I used a white gel pen to sketch out a little constellation drawing on the cover. And I love how simple this is, but how pretty it turned out. It's the perfect gift to give to your friend who might be interested in recording their dreams. The 
the next gift idea is this cute little trinket dish. And this is another DIY made using clay. So take some of your clay and roll it out flat. And then choose an object that is the same size you want your dish to be to cut out your circle. I used a little wine glass and I placed that on the bottom of the wine glass to give the dish that rounded shape. And just a little trick, you can put this in the freezer for about 10 minutes so that it hardens and you can pop it off the glass a little bit easier. And then just bake this once again according to your clay instructions. And you can paint this however you like. I actually found the inspiration for this on Pinterest so I'll have that linked down below but I really liked the crescent moon design so I just used some black paint to paint the moon and then some white and gray paint to add speckles and I sealed this using Mod Podge and I really love how this little dish turned out. The last DIY are these little charms, which I turned into keychains, but you could also make them into jewelry. So first, roll out your clay and then use some circle cookie cutters to cut out your shapes. You could also use those same templates that we used from the last few projects if you want some different shapes. And remember to poke a hole in the top of each of these pieces so that you can attach it to your keychain or your necklace or whatever you want to add these to. And then you'll bake this according to the instructions on your clay and you can decorate it or paint it however you like. I kept mine really simple and I painted it a solid color and then added a constellation design. I think this would be really cool to personalize for each of your friends and paint the constellation that goes with their star sign. I also tried a little moon design on one of the smaller clay pieces but I honestly like the constellation charms better. I also sealed these with Mod Podge to make sure they were nice and durable and then I used some jump rings to attach the keychain to the charm. And one more idea is this little stardust charm which I think pairs really well with the constellation ones. So I found these little glass bottle charms at Hobby Lobby and I made some labels which are included in that template that you downloaded. So I made one that said stardust and one that said moon dust and you can just add some glitter into that little bottle and glue the label on with some Mod Podge. Make sure you seal that cork nice and tight onto the bottle with some E6000 glue that way the glitter won't come out and spill everywhere and then you can attach it to your keychain using some jump rings and I think these look so pretty and I think that anyone would love receiving this little personalized gift. I hope you guys enjoyed these DIY gift ideas. Leave a comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite. And if you try any of these out, take a photo and tag me on Instagram because I would love to see how yours turn out. I hope you guys are having a very happy holiday season and I will see you again very soon with some more holiday videos. Bye.